Okay, so here we are in Spain, just outside the village of Buenachi de la Sierra, which is uh, about 15 kilometers outside of Cuenca. Cuenca being about, well, almost equidistant between Madrid and Valencia. If you were to draw a straight line between Madrid and Valencia, then Cuenca is just above that line, slightly towards Madrid. Anyway, here's our land that we've got. Out uh, near Cuenca, by Buenachi de la Sierra. And we're just coming up now to our gate. Not much of a gate, but this is the entrance to our land, if you're coming by car. This is our road, believe it or not, that we're walking along now. There's a gate of sorts open, you don't really need gates around here. And let's have a quick uh, quick walk round the land, well part of it at least, to see what we can see. So like I say, this is our entrance. Uh, soon coming into view will be a stone which sort of marks the beginning of our boundary There we are, look. there's the stone that looks like a head. The edge of the land sort of runs along in line with him, along there, along this ridge. Um, you can just see in the distance down there our little cabin, but we'll see that in more detail in a moment. Down here is also the foundations of what one day will be the main building on the land. Most of the work on this plot was done uh, many years ago. My dad purchased this land about 15 years ago or so. And there we can see our breeze block shower and the foundations for the main house. They're nine meters by nine meters on the outside, eight by eight on the inside. Now the original plan was to build a timber frame straw bale house. Uh, we've gone more towards uh, building of stone now. We did once get enough straw to build a house with. There's the small remains of what was a huge pile of straw there on the floor, there, sort of rotting away. And in those, uh, old oil barrels was the lime upon which uh, which you would plaster it with. But we're moving towards building with stone because that's what we have an abundance of. You know, pretty much what's on this land is rock and lots of it. This whole area in fact has got plenty of stone. Uh, there's plenty of trees as well so we no doubt have a bit of timber frame inside for the uh, insulation and what have you. Let's have another quick look at, uh, well let's have a quick look at our little wooden hut, our cabin. Here's an old, uh, old vehicle that used to be working. Sadly, it's out of function now. An old dumper. Very old machine. That pipe there is running up to our water tank. As you can just see up there. Zoom in for you. Yep, there's the water tank. Nested in the trees. A thousand litres. It takes quite a long time to fill that up and to unfill it. Here's a dog kennel, which was for Snozzy's dog Betty. Very nice. Sort of earth sheltered dog kennel. It's got a bit of polystyrene insulation in there. Mostly earth sheltered. And here's our little wooden cabin. This currently is the sort of life and soul. Uh, you know, it's the heart of the land at the moment. Because it doesn't lock presently, we don't have any do locking door here on this side at the moment. We've taken everything away. There's normally a cooker and tents and what have you. Let's have a quick look inside the hut, despite the lack of light. 
There we are, you can see. There's a little table, breeze block benches, some shelving, some uh, filing cabinets, <laughs> bits and bobs. And there we have it. Every year we tend to get a, uh, a bird's nest, and here's this year's nestled in there in this old uh, mosquito net we're using as a bit of a door. Now this is an, uh, let's have a quick look at the roof. We've got a green roof here. It's very nice, it's quite insulative. It does dry out in the summer, um, but over time, the root will get. Uh, Oh yeah, this time of year, we're in the middle of May at the moment, it's the 18th of May. Let's do a quick 360 from on top of the on top of the cabin. You see the land following the man that's over there. You just see him in the distance. Follows along that ridge. To where the uh, water tank is, follows along, follows along, follows along, follows along, follows along, all the way along there to about about there to about that tree there, and it cuts back in, and there's a stream. There's a stream that runs in the winter, just down there. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's go down and have a close look at the, uh, the um, foundations and shower. Well, while we're here, first of all, we'll go for a quick look at, uh, there's our swing, very nice. Down here, this is normally where our main camping area is. It's, quite sh it's got the most shade, sort of the most sheltered, and it's the flattest. So there we normally camp, and here, and here we've got uh, a little fire. Dave Magic actually made that last time he was here. And some benches. And if we cut along here, Have a quick look at our beehives. We just put a couple of empty beehives on the land to see what would happen. And one of them nearly always has bees in. Let's see what's happening at the moment. Now this is the one that doesn't normally have any life in it. And again, as usual, it doesn't look like it does now. What about this one? No, it looks like it's been abandoned. Maybe they're just asleep for the winter. I mean, it's a beautiful hot sunny day now, but a week ago it was literally hailstones here. Well... No be action there, and it seems like they've uh, glued the roof shut. So I'll leave them to it for now. Let's cut back up here. See what the, f what the site for our future allotments getting along. Well, it's nice and green. It's like the mulch is working. So in here is uh, you just about to see the posts there. This is sort of a bit of land that we're slowly preparing to be a, a veg growing patch. Now what you'll see that this pile here is the remains of the old straw. Slowly but surely we shoveled all the rotting straw. Um, down here to help prepare the land.